Welcome to our Yellowfin video about setting up date fields from a spreadsheet. So what I wanted to show you today is how we can create a report from a CSV or from a spreadsheet and we can set up the date fields to be recognised as dates so that we can later use them for time series charts or just to be able to do different date formatting techniques. So to start we're going to come up to create and create a new report. Now I'm going to import a new spreadsheet. Uh, please do watch our other videos about importing spreadsheets and how to interact with them. Uh, they do provide other information. I'm purely focusing today on just how to handle this date field. But to start with, I'm going to create a file that I'm going to load in from a CSV. Simply browse for your files and select the file that you want to see. Once you have chosen that file, uh, remember you can also go to the advanced settings. I am just going to change this to high precision to make sure that Yellowfin scans the whole document to check for the field types and then press next. So now we get a preview of the data that is to be imported. So what I want to focus on today is our start date and end date column. We can see here that Yellowfin hasn't recognized them as a date, which means that if I wanted to do a time series chart or if I just want to change the layout to group these by month or something like that, I'm not going to be able to do that. So first I need to set them up as date fields. So to do this, we're going to come to the function button over here on the left. If I click on this, there's a bunch of options available to me. In particular though, we're going to focus on our date conversion. So come down to that option and select that. Now the first step is to choose what field you want to convert to a date. So I'm going to start with the start date. You'll notice that on the only options appearing here are a dimension or the yellow squares. So if your date field is being pulled in as a decimal, you'll first need to change it to be a varchar or a dimension. Then it will appear here. Once it's here, I just select start date and press create. What's going to happen next is Yellowfin's going to create a new column for this date field. So I can give this new column a name. Uh, so I might, I, I'm still going to just call this start date. I can decide if I want it to be a date or a timestamp. Now the next step is the most important. This is where you format the date. If you just click on this I, you'll get a bit of a legend which can help you work out how to translate your date. Simply close that and it'll take you back to the date format. So I'm simply gonna say that uh, my 15 here is my day. You'll notice it going blue as I've translated it. Then I can put in the slash, you gotta make sure you put the same separator in. The month, slash, and I've got four digits for the year. Once I've done that successfully, I just press save. So now you'll notice uh, my start date column has remained the same, but Yellowfin added the new column called start date, and this time it's recognized as a date. I'm just gonna quickly do the same thing for the end date. So again, we're gonna add this new function and come down to our date conversion. This time I'm gonna select end date and press create. Again, rename the field, and I've just got to put in the same translation and press save. So here we have our new start date and our new end date field. Now to avoid confusion, because these are the ones I want to use, um, you might just want to do something to these ones so that you know that these are the ones that are the var char. So I might just want to rename these so that I don't get them confused. So I'm just going to format this column and I'll just rename it text field. I can just easily toggle to the next one to make sure that those are easy for us to separate out. Once you've completed all the formatting you need, uh, simply press finish and it's going to take us to our report builder. So when I open my fields, just like normal in the report builder, I can see all the different options. I can clearly see that these are the text fields, so I don't really want to use them, but here's my start date that I can accumulate in here. Uh, just as an example, let's just accumulate some data. Now I can go and build a chart. And if I just choose a particular chart type, drag in my fields, I'll now have the different time series settings which I can activate and therefore accumulate my data differently. For more helpful tips, please see our other videos.